learning for those still in education. It's the moment to start thinking about heading back to the classroom. According to sales data, this is typically the biggest day for school uniform shopping in London with a worsening cost of living crisis, of course, helping no one when it comes to this. Consumer expert Kate Hardcastle is encouraging parents to make do and mend and gave Alicia some tips. I think there is a lot of pressure on we parents at this time of year. We've gone through the summer holiday almost and it's that feeling that, right, it's back to school. That immediately for a lot of people makes them feel about the cost element of it. And we're in this spectacular challenging time where we know we've got rising food prices, fuel prices. So I think first and foremost, it's asking yourself the question, is there anything from last year's uniform that can be repurposed and reused? What I've found over the years, and I think this is now like my 28th term as a parent, is the better we look after and care for the uniform, the more it will actually last us. So you get out what you put in. And I, and I think it's a few words of, of advice and support trying to help parents understand that if you do have to invest at this time of year, yes, it's, it's absolutely the right thing to do to try and look after that uniform and make it serve you well. You're encouraging parents to make, do and mend. Uh, how can they do this? What kinds of items are the easiest to uh, update and, and make work for another season, another school term? I think when you are a parent, you want to do the right thing for your children all of the time. And we want to make sure they've got everything they need, but it's not always affordable. And yet we've found from some research from Start Right, the shoe company, that three quarters of parents are buying new all, all of the time when it comes to this back to school period. And I think that's a lot of pressure. So uh, what we want to understand is where can you afford to uh, make a saving by using discount codes, voucher codes, getting really smart and savvy with your shopping? Where can you help Uniform go further where it can by looking after it? And I think then the investment pieces, something like a school shoe, how you can look after that to its, its, its best life and, and like, make sure you're getting that investment back. And when we talk about make, do and mend, it's something my nan always talked about and sort of drilled into me that idea of taking shoes to the cobblers and looking after them and polishing them on a Sunday night. But those things, believe it or not, will serve you well. And as you get older, I think there's absolutely no shame in wanting to make your money go further and I've realized that the, sometimes on an investment piece like a shoe, I get better value for money when we care and look after that. You're also balancing that with trying to get the best for your children in terms of their foot health. Our children's feet are growing all the time and changing all the time. So they do need support. They do need something that's gonna last. But I've managed to get the pairs of shoes to last a whole school year, which I didn't think was even possible by buying a brand that's got a little bit of extra grow room in it and that's all about the fit, learning how to fit it, and then also trying to make sure we look after it properly through the year. Aside from the shoes, how can we breathe new life into school uniforms that maybe look like they're, they're a bit past it, but perhaps still fit? So, school uniforms have been one of those areas where you feel like it can cost a lot of money. It's definitely about trying to make sure that you look after uh, to create longevity. One of the things I think we're guilty of sometimes is we want that new pristine school uniform picture, going back to school first day, everyone looking smart. But I'm going to suggest you wash your uniform. Anything that's new before wear, that's going to help with the longevity and life of it try not to tumble dry tumble dry in and i know it's a bit controversial but even fabric softener can make uniform items much more bobbly than they need to be then that creates excess wear and tear so natural drying is really good they don't always need fabric conditioners so check the labels washing as cool as possible as well to try to keep the wash loads down when then it comes to buying a bit of wiggle room in there you know, I, I am not a sewer, I'm not very good at those handy techniques, but Wonderweb has been a friend of mine over the years. So on, on skirts and trousers, you know, taking a, a bigger size, adjusting them at the waist if that's possible, and then trying to bring up the hem a little so we've got a little bit more uh, life left in it. If you've got items that you uh, have in the cupboard still and you're trying to work out if they still fit, have a look, try them on. 
um, giving them some TLC before you get back to school to make them last a bit longer too. And this is where things like wiping off every night rather than shoving them straight in the wash, we can do great things with actually using some tools and techniques that we've got at home to be able to keep those items lasting longer. So just looking after them, taking care with them, and they will actually serve you well. Well, given that it's A-level results day for students, if you're watching this as opposed to out and about celebrating after receiving your grades, our next guest is here to plug a career in tech, in particular for young